This is a roundup of updates to our web interface. We've got three new features to show you, first of which is the Fresnel zone around a path. So we've created a path profile using the standard tool here by clicking on the map and we've created a link. Only now if you zoom in and inspect that link, you'll see there is a 3D uh, Fresnel zone around the line of sight line. And in this case, the zone is obstructed and that's why it's red as it as is the line. Now in this case we've achieved a good spot there with line of sight and a clear Fresnel zone. However, if I change the frequency now, I'll go down to a VHF frequency which has a longer wavelength. A longer wavelength has a larger Fresnel zone and you'll see now that Fresnel zone is now red and it is now obstructed as it is getting absorbed into the ground. If more than 60% of the uh, Fresnel zone is obstructed, then that is not a viable link, but in this case, this is workable. We've got line of sight. Right, next feature is uh, route analysis. So they're taking advantage of our points API. This is a new button here. Uh, you can click this button and freehand draw a route. You might have noticed our marker has now turned yellow and it's labeled RX for receiver. And each one of these points that I'm selecting now is the transmitter and so I've left clicked to define the route I right click and that uh, finishes the route and each point there is tested and co color coded and styled according to our color schema and if I want to go deeper and have a look at what the actual signal strength is it's annotated on there now the final uh, feature which we've added is multi-point analysis which um, is just a very quick way of testing several points so just like before uh, we've got a receiver and I've got points here and I just want to test here, here and here. And I can see three different values and that's all I need. I just need to know that that's, these two are good, that's not very good because it's obstructed and so on and so on.